Hello, welcome to Tune Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about volume spacers. So volume spacers, they come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes for forks, shocks, different makes, models, but what do they do and when should you use them? So the, the purpose of a volume spacer is to reduce the size of an air chamber. By reducing the size of the air chamber, it makes the spring rate increase towards the end of the travel. So it makes it harder to compress towards the end of the travel. We recommend using them when you've got the correct, your, your pressure set correctly to give, give you the right amount of sag um, that you're after or your, the manufacturer of your bike recommends but you're still bottoming out harshly. By fitting the spacer, it will give you that little bit more support towards the end of the travel. Um, you can fit multiple spacers in certain models as well. Um, so keep increasing until you, you get the amount of support at bottom out. When we don't recommend fitting them is when you're after um, you're after more support in the, in the mid stroke or you're at the maximum air pressure for your fork or shock but are still getting um, too much sag. Um, firstly, at sag point, a volume spacer makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. In the mid stroke, it will make a very small difference towards the end of the mid stroke, but to make a noti noticeable difference, you would have to run that many volume spaces that you would never get anywhere near the end of your, of your travel. To achieve more support in the mid stroke, you either need to look at negative air volumes if that's adjustable in your fork or shock, um, which a lot aren't, or you need to look at your compression damping settings. So for example, if you're suffering from a lack of support in the middle of the stroke on um, slow moving um, situations so uh, that's rider input when you're trying to pump the bike and push down through the fork or push through the shock um, you need to increase the low speed compression damping to give you more support or if you're looking for more support on impacts um, whether the fork or shock's got to move uh, quite fast to absorb that um, absorb that hit then you need to increase the, your high speed compression damping. So our quick tip is if you're after mid stroke support, volume spacers aren't going to give you it. You need to look at your damping settings or if you've got adjustable negative air volume, you need to look at that. Um, if you've got any questions about that, I'm sure there's lots, <laughs> then just uh, drop us a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.